We worked with many teenagers um, over the 15 years or so we worked in children's homes and, um, and, and the problem was basically the kids between ages 13 and 18 almost never got adopted. Um, they basically were stuck uh, lingering in foster care until their 18th birthday and then a lot of times when they aged out at 18 um, they were just on their own. I think that they've all had some sort of trauma in their life, of course, that's you know usually why they're in foster care. Some of the challenges are when they do act out, um, just remembering why they're with you and why they're not with their biological family and that that is just, um, you know, something to, to remind you to have, um, have compassion for that child and you still have to discipline and you still have to be tough on them, but, um, but understanding where they're coming from is, is essential. Honestly, if anybody's been here for more than a couple months, they're basically family at that point. It is somewhere to say it's obvious they do care. If you're in foster care, it, it's a you can. There's no uh, there's no guarantee you're, where you are is going to be where you're staying. There's, I mean, it can take one bad day and you're not in the same place. But it, if you're adopted, it's just like regular family. Whereas. Not what happens, but what you really do, you're gonna stay where you are. A lot of people think that just having a piece of paper to say that you're adopted doesn't matter, that you know, family is, is anybody, but to these kids, having a piece of paper that changes their name and gives them your last name means the world to them. Um, because it doesn't mean they're just pretending that you are their family. You have taken that commitment to being their family and are giving your family to them basically by giving them your last name. I had a relatively small family before now, before, now, um, before I was in foster care and all that. And we didn't really see family any besides the one that I was with. We didn't see extended family or grandparents or anything. And when we're here, we tend to go down to Florida and I see just about everyone. We see 20, 30 people and it's, it's, it's almost like a, it was almost always a party of some sort. People might have misperceptions about older youth that they um, don't want to be a part of a family, that they just want to, you know, go figure things out on their own. Um, but really that family support is so key at that age. The teenagers that I work with who have been adopted really talk about how much they want a sense of belonging, someone to claim them, um, somewhere that they can go on holidays, that can walk them down the aisle when they're getting married, um, you know, really just be with them to be able to grow and have family traditions. Because there, there are going to be issues that come up. I mean, there, there are issues with a regular child. Um, these kids will have those and then they'll have some additional ones. And if you are patient with them and, and understand that every behavior serves some sort of purpose for that child and try to figure out what that is, um, you will be successful. It's much broader than just, you know, adopting a child. It's long-term commitment um, really for the rest of your life and theirs.